Lily, do St. Mary Boys Senior High. Lily, St. Mary Boys Senior High. Finally, I'm doing it. What are you gonna do now? No, how many thumbs up are you gonna give this video? <laughs> Honestly, I told you guys I'm still very much in love with the senior high schools in Ghana and that is not a joke. So I'm not done, okay? If you haven't seen your school or the school you want to see, it simply means I'm working on it, okay? So ladies and gentlemen, I welcome you all again to another high school reaction video. All right, so today we are going back to the West and we are going to take a look at St. Mary Boys Senior High School let's go to the west and i will be back let's go saint mary boys senior high school was established in the year 1947 by the roman catholic and the school is located at hunter west district is a pure boys second school institution here in ghana uh let's do the campus together and uh, Keep watching to where to like the video and don't forget to leave your thought down there in the comment section.
really appreciate them for sticking their hands up. I represent an exact likeness in shape. Yes, in marriage. Symmetry. Symmetry is correct for three. I am a square of a set of binomial coefficients. Yes, in marriage, boys. One, two, one. One, two, one is correct. Okay, so these are students and supporters from St. Mary's Senior High School. Last year, they could not make it to the national contest. They, they were kicked out during the regional contest. But this year, they made it to the nationals. And then they are proceeding to the 1-8th stage um, after knocking out um, Yasantua Girls Senior High School and Amenfiman Senior High School. In fact, high hopes and so much excitement here. You can see from the supporters and students of St. Mary Senior High School. Um, let me get to the supporters. How was the contest for you coming up against Yasantua Girls Senior High School? Was it a difficult one? Well, um, we didn't expect it to go this way because coming in, all our plan was to come and win. So initially we were trailing, but then uh, we knew that our goal was to win, and so we did a comeback, and that's how the contest went. Okay, well, when you were coming for the contest, hearing the Asantua, did it scare your, your, your contestant or the school itself? Oh, not at all, not at all, not at all. The Asantua, they don't really perform in NSMQ, so why, why the fear, why the intimidation? Not at all. Yeah. Not, at all. not at all. Now, you see, when I was interacting with the girls from Yasantua, they told me that since they are out, they are throwing their weight behind Prempe College. And if Prempe College is coming up against St. Mary's Senior High School, you're definitely going to be kicked out. What do you have to say to them? <laughs> That's very funny. This is a competition, right? Every school is a school. Yes, we are competent. That is why we are here. And so they should watch out. We are going to beat their boys too. They should watch out. Yes. Okay, okay, okay. Do you also have anything to add up? Yes, uh, this week, we are in the rosary month, so you can see that something is happening here. We began with two points, and we ended with what? 33 points. So you should know that the, the divine intervention of our mother Mary is working. Thank you. Okay, so that I'm hooked, I'm hooked, I'm hooked, I'm hooked. But do you guys honestly think it's okay to have like a whole town to yourself in the name of a school? Now ask, are they ask? I'm not jealous, okay? I'm not jealous. But do you think it's okay? What were you planning when you were building the schools? I want to know. When you were building the schools in Ghana, what were you planning to have like a whole a university? Is that what you're planning? Very soon, I'm thinking of comparing the university campus in Nigeria <laughs> and uh, putting some of the schools, the public secondary schools in Ghana, hand in hand. My people go cry tired. Eh! I will do it then you will realize something because there's something i'm seeing there's this channel that is um into there are a lot of I, I'm, I'm going to do that so some of my videos i'm going to do that some of the schools in ghana and some university campuses in my beloved god bless Niger. i will put them together and put it to you <laughs> i want you to see something wait see that name saint mary boys saint mary i was expecting to see some holy boys holy holiest like coolest but these guys are not so merry in <laughs> i mean they are they, they're streets and then they vibe they, they vibe to everybody chapter wale then they then they vibe to zazu everybody and every <laughs> So let's go take a look at the past of St. Mary Boys Senior High School. Whatever people are doing now, there are people who have been there before. There, there's someone or two that have taken the action before. So let's go take a look at the past students, the ex-boys of St. Mary Senior High School. I mean, the alumni, as they come back to give back to their alma mater. Let's go. <laughs>
I am nobody. In 1967, I passed common entrance. I had full scholarship. I was supposed to pay 20 pounds. There was no 20 pounds in my house. So I didn't go anywhere. My father said the best he could do was to put me in a trade. So by 73, I had finished apprenticeship as an auto mechanic. But listen to me well. In 73, a teacher who has taught me in P5 in primary school saw me fixing a car after he has come to St. Mary's uh, St. Training College. What I did, I said, I'm a mechanic, I'm fixing a car. He said, No, you are not a mechanic. You cannot be a mechanic. No disgrace to mechanics, but you cannot be a mechanic. Because when you are in primary four, you are the first student in our school, and we jump to you cannot be a mechanic. I mean, I should say fitter, because mechanic is too tall. You cannot be a fitter. So he bought jobs for me. I sat for the entrance to training college, and that is how I came to the marriage in 1974. Yeah, which year? 94. I hope we will hear from you. Sure. <laughs> okay. Please, there are some few dignitaries around that would like to acknowledge their presence, especially for our old boys to see and then learn from. We have the headmaster here of the school. We acknowledge all of your presence. People who have taken time out of their busy schedule to be with us. We have to acknowledge them. We also have the physician assistant from the Ghana Health Service. The upper one has said that if she's here. Uh, okay, she's also on her way coming. We had a PTA chairman, Nana Hakma, the, the treasurer representing the chairman, the PTA. Okay, Nana Hakma is here. Thank you very much, Nana. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. You are welcome to the handing over ceremony of newly renovated and refurbished infirmary. We are very honored and privileged to have all of you here this morning for this memorable occasion. We are indeed grateful to have among us the following. The Almighty God bless and sanctify this infirmary and all those gathered here, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Like I said, 
sometimes i film this video before discovering more videos and i add them up so i do not know what i have seen but I, but in case you see or didn't see a project presentation it's something they do they just didn't post this school in particular do not i mean i just realized they do not have a lot of videos the only place i could find videos of this school is a channel i'm not supposed to use their video to do any of my videos because the reason i totally understand because if i'm going to use their videos to do my reaction videos it simply means that all of their videos will be in all of my videos because they have a lot of videos on high schools in ghana and um, so it's been a little bit difficult so i hope that you make do with what i've shown you and um, as we always do it let's go roam the streets of the campus whatever we can find in this scent that are not so scent <laughs> They are sent to oh, I mean, but they are not sent. Hallelujah, sent. I mean, so let's go room the campus and whatever we can find, and I will be back. Let's go. <laughs> Education, a very warm 
Mrs. Nelly, Sally, Kuman to help us with this presentation. To the sixth position, with 19 points, Takwani Senior High School. The fifth position, with 28 points, Pompey Senior High School. Fourth, with 29 points, Sankoro Senior High School. Medibos who came third with 34 points to the top two, the men, the boys, the gentlemen, the males, the masculines. What for me, Kawe? On the A and Waka. Second with 104 points. First with some 119 points. First position, ladies and gentlemen, the Baron Champions, Boys Division. And Mrs. Nelly Salukoma, the Metro Director of Education, the God of Anabuba. Okay. I stated it in the interview video I did with Mary Lucy. The most fancy part of high schools in Ghana for me, the best part of senior high schools in Ghana for me, is not for the fact that they are free of charge. No. Yes, I like that part. It's very good. But for the fact that even when you are paying, even if you're supposed to pay, even if at some point people start paying or at some point people were paying, it's worth it. The campus is presentable. The environment is good enough for, for, for human to inhabit. I mean, that is what I'm talking about. So when you're paying, it's worth your payment. Anyways, I hope that you did enjoy today's video. And you do not know which school will be coming next. If you don't see it tomorrow, you don't see it next, don't worry. These schools are all 
coming. Sometimes I'll be like, I'm tired, but then I'll find myself going back to watch my old videos and I'll find myself coming back to do the videos. Ah, I'm on this. Okay. I'm hooked. I'm hooked. I'm hooked. I'm hooked. <laughs> Anyways, thank you for watching this one. I'll see you guys in another one. Bye.